For many of you watching, a watch is much more than something you just use to tell the time. It's why you're watching this video right now, and it's why you spend enough money on watches to make any sane person's head spin. Watches are supposed to make you feel something, and different watches are supposed to make you feel different kind of ways. It's why halfway through filming my review of this Formax Reef GMT, I grabbed this watch off my makeshift studio and I drove off into the remote Alaskan wilderness. A GMT by design screams travel and adventure. So when I had this watch, I knew I had to get moving, especially something as capable as the Reef GMT. This watch has 300 meters of water resistance it is a COCS certified chronometer, and it's just built like an all-around tank. A watch in this environment is a must because it's easy to lose track of time in Alaska. In the winter months, the sun barely comes up, and in the summer months, the sun doesn't set. Being able to keep track of multiple time zones with this GMT is also an added plus when I'm out in the bush because it helps me keep track of time on the east coast of the United States, where there's a four hour time difference. That's where most of my family live, and this afternoon I was scheduled to make a phone call. This specific Reef GMT can definitely give off some Explorer 2 vibes with its matte white dial, GMT hand, and its stainless steel bezel. I think that's a good thing, but that's where the similarities end. This watch is uniquely its own. This watch has its own distinctive design, which is refreshingly different than a lot of other divers or GMTs you see on the market. With that said, there are design nods to other Formax watches, and that's also a good thing. When you guys see a Formax, you pretty much know where it is, even if the logo is gone. I have been impressed with this particular watch but also their entire catalog as a whole, their pricing, because it's a lot of bang for buck in the way in which they operate. This watch also has a couple tricks up its sleeve, like the ability to instantly change out the straps or even the bezel without tools. This is something I have never seen before and it's something that I cover more in depth on my full review. Make sure to check out that video as well because with the olive green bezel, it just feels like a completely different watch. Not to compare everything under the sun to Rolex, but think about how different your standard black Submariner date looks and feels to the Kermit because of its green bezel. With a change like that, the aftermarket thinks that difference substitutes a $10,000 price difference. Now imagine being able to make that much of a visual change in under three seconds whenever you want it. Speaking about that kind of versatility, let's put it on the rubber strap right now. This looks pretty slick, but let's go ahead and change that bezel back. There we go. My full review on this watch should already be out, so make sure you guys look back and check out the full review if you really want to get into all of the details on this watch because that's not what this video is about. This video is just about how this watch makes me feel. Let me know in the comments how your watches make you feel and if you guys have designated watches for different scenarios such as traveling, hiking, or whatever else. I think it's time to wrap this one up guys because as much as I love filming for all of you out there, I'm going to spend a little time out here by myself in the last frontier, just me, myself, and my Formax Reef GMT. I'll catch you guys on the next one.